Hi and hello to all viewers. In today's session, we will see about cold water and sport fisheries chapter. We will see the key points and the previous year asked questions from this chapter so that it will be helpful for JRF state fisheries exam and other fisheries exam. What is cold water fisheries? The lakes which present at an altitude of greater than 914 meter from sea level. The temperature is around 0 to 20 degrees Celsius. Optimum temperature is 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. The fisheries takes place in that area is called cold water fisheries. The institute DCFR, Directorate of Cold Water Fisheries Research, is in Bimtol. In the seventh five year plan, they have established the National Research Center on Cold Water Fisheries on 24th September 1987. Later, they have renamed it to Directorate of Cold Water Fisheries Research in their 11th five year plan. Major achievements of this institute are establishment of temporary machine hatchery at Bintang in 1990. Second, captive breeding and larval rearing of Topotitora, which is an endangered species, has been achieved. Then, Labio diochinus, Labio tiro, Labio pangusia. Chagunius chagunio and Barulius bentilius. Captive breeding and larval rearing have been achieved for these species also. Successful larval rearing of Puntria sticto, Nazaritia telenoids, Neolisochilius hexagonolipus have been achieved. Seed production hatchery unit for Torputitora have been established. Flow through hatchery for eggs of machine have been developed. Then, impact evaluation studies have been performed by Cold Water Fisheries Center of SIFRI. Artificial propagation of Sizothoracids niger, Isochinias, Curviforms, Micropogon, Richardsoni, Plachistomas have been achieved. Cold waters are having low temperature. Due to it, low productivity and low fertility and low food availability is there and low carbon dioxide and sparse vegetation is present there. Oxygen is very rich and the transparency is also more. Now we will see the classification of lakes according to whether it will freeze or it will not freeze. The lakes which would not freeze in the whole year. Examples of which are Ular at Kashmir, Renuka Lake and Himachal Pradesh, Binta, Devareta, Nainital, Sata in Uttargan, Uchi and Kodakanal in Tamil Nadu, Devikulam and Elephant Lake in Kerala. The second category is lakes which will freeze a part of it or hold together in the whole year or some part of the years are Kishensha, Vishensha, Shishna, Tarsar, Marsar. Nilna. Some salt water lakes are also present in Ladakh. Examples are Pankongshu and Shomoriri. Now we will see about lakes and their states or lakes and their hilly region. Kodakana Lake is in Palani Hills, Erkada Lake is in Chevroy Hills, Uchi Lake is in Nilgiri Hills. Loktak is situated in the state of Manipur, Dal and Kishanshur at Kashmir. Nauchitol, Kurpatol, Garunchol. It is at Kumayu. Morphological features of the fishes present there. The fishes are having streamlined bodies so that they get more power during their movement. Examples of which are Throw, Physothoracid, and Loach. The fishes present in that area have adapted features such as clinging and burrowing to withstand the fast water currents present in that area. As the food is less available, so the mouth of the fishes have been developed 
for rasping the encrusted organism and removing slime from there. The lip also has adapter for removing periphyton. Examples can be seen in snowdrop, marshy, minor cobs like labiotero, labiotiochilius, gara and a minor catfish also called a scissorid torrent catfish, lipchothorax. As the water column is rich in oxygen, the gill opening of the fish are very narrow. This question has been asked in some previous years. The fishes adapting characters depend upon their current and temperature, nature of substratum and the flora and fauna present in that region. Marshy Marshy is family separated. This question also has been asked in the previous year. Marshy belongs to which family? Answer is separated. It is called as king of sport fish or king of Indian sport fish or mighty marshy or tigers of water. There are two chanira are there, seven species are there and three subspecies are there. Now some new species also has been identified. Species and their common name. Please remember the species and their common name. These questions have also been asked in some of the previous year question papers. Tor tor. Deep body marshy or red fin marshy. Copper marshy. It's tor marshal. Tor kudri. Common name is Deccan Mashir or Bluefin Mashir. Tor Mushalla, High Back Mashir. Tor Ramatevi, it is Humback Mashir or Orange Fin Mashir. Black Mashir, Naziritia Cherenoids. Chocolate Mashir or Red Mashir or Cutli or Bohar. Scientific name is Neolisochilius hexagonolipus. Golden or Himalayan Mashir, Tor Putitora. Junga Mashi, it's a tor progenius, tor nelly. This tor tor is present in Narmata and Tapti region, tor kudri in Mahanadi region, tor Rama Devi in Kaveri basin, chocolate Mashi in Assam. These rivers also important to remember. Tor putitora is an endangered species, tor Rama Devi is a critically endangered species. In Mashi, males attain maturity at the age between 1.5 years to 2 years and females attain maturity at the age greater than 3 years. Mashir is a migratory fish. It migrates downstream when the water recedes in river and it ascends the river to spawn during monsoon when the rivers are strong or full with rain water. The eggs of Mashira demersal. The egg color is more important. It is lemon yellow or brownish golden color. Red. It's the nest or area for egg laying in case of trout and marshy. The newly hatched larvae measures about 8.5 to 9 millimeter in size. The best seasons for marshy fishing as in case of large river is February to April. In small river, it is during October to November. This is an easy trick to remember. Marshy fishing mostly in the month which have R in their word. For example, January it has R, February it has R. So whichever the months which have R in its letter, is Mashir fishing month. Mashir fishing, it is totally banned in all common waters in case of lakes and reservoirs during fish spawning season from 1st June to 31st July as in case of drought waters during November 1st to 28th February. For conservation purpose, the stretch of Amuna from Kaleshwar to Hatni Kun has been protected. The TPCL, the Tata Power Company Limited in Pune, Maharashtra has helped for conservation of machine. Marshir is having a multiple spawning periodicity. Artificial propagation of tau kudri has been achieved by Dr. C. V. Kulharni and S. N. Ugale. Body size is small, narrow, headland to body width is higher 
ventral profile of abdomen is straight abdomen is not bulkier pectoral fin is longer anal fin does not project out of ventral fin tubercle is present on the head region color is brighter when compared to female snow trout is sizothorax mashir is tor they both belong to family cyprinidae remember very clearly snow trout belong to family cyprinidae trout belong to family salmonidae sizothorax richardsoni plagistomus molesworthy isosinus progastisi cumainensis in some of the previous question they have asked the family of this snow trout trout or marshy be very clear in the family of the fishes snow trout most of them are like herbivore and the bottom feeder in the snow trout size of the rect nightshade is some kind of exception the eggs can be incubated under bowl still and flowing water but in case of other snow trouts flowing water is only used for incubation other species used to perform spawning migration as in case of sizothorax niger the breeding ground is found as dal lake it just used to migrate upstream for laying eggs during the month of june to august trout family is salmonidae aspic salmon is oncorhynchus atlantic salmon is salmo remember always the major fishes common name and the scientific name most of the time they used to ask this kind of questions one question majority will come under this category salmo trutaferia is brown trout oncorhynchus micus is rainbow trout lake trout is salvelinus namaycus cut throat trout is oncorhynchus clarki bull trout is salvelinus confluentus tolly barden trout is salvelinus malma brook or eastern brook trout is salvelinus fontinalis primas pola is indian trout salmon salmon also belong to family salmonidae trout and the salmon belong to family salmonidae atlantic salmon is salmosella chinook salmon is oncorhynchus cham salmon is oncorhynchus keeta coho is oncorhynchus kisach pink is oncorhynchus gorbosha sockeye is oncorhynchus neca life cycle of salmon is very important after the eggs idex will be formed after idex alevin will be formed after alevin fry will be formed after fry par will be formed after par small then the adult is spawning always remember these stages very carefully now we will see how the trout culture has been started in india in 1863 francis day has made full attempt of introducing eyed eggs and flies of brown trout and lock even trout in nilgiri area in 1900 f d mitchell have succeeded in the introduction of eyed eggs of brown trout in, in harvard hatchery of jammu and kashmir from scotland in 1912 f j mitchell has succeeded in hatching rainbow trout came from england European Economic Community and Norwegian government these both together have boosted rainbow trout in Jammu Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh the first and the foremost hatchery of the country to breed trout was done by F J Mitchell in Harwan and Kashmir during 1905 to 1906 after this hatchery the second hatchery is at Makili hatchery in Himachal Pradesh 1909 Wilson constructed the first hatchery in Nilagiri at Avalanchi FJ Mitchell has constructed the first hatchery in India the trout have attained maturity at the end of second year male mature between 2 to 4 years of age female mature at a age greater than 3 years fecundity is more important fecundity is 1500 to 2000 eggs per kg mostly what method is preferred is like dry method is most preferred the fertilized egg size is around 3.5 to 5 mm the egg color is more important it is green in color the fertilized egg will be green in color and fertilized egg will be white in color hatchling will measure 1.5 to 1.8 cm in length the india's transport box name is pahari box this name is also more important pahari box 
Difference between male and female trout. Male is having a hook in the lower jaw. Female is having a genital papilla. Male will be more brighter during its breeding season. The trout hatcheries in India is around 32 hatcheries are there. Jammu Kashmir is having 14 hatcheries. Himachal Pradesh 5 hatcheries. Uttarakhand 3 hatcheries. Sikkim 5 hatcheries. Uttar Pradesh 2 hatcheries. Kerala 2 hatcheries. Tamil Nadu 1 hatcheries. Remember some of the major hatcheries name and their states. Laribal, Harvan, Achbal, Kokarna. These hatcheries are in Jammu Kashmir. Patlikuhal, Chirakon. Barot, Mahili is at Himachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh, Bomdila. Hatchery is there. Kerala, Rajmalai. Easiest way to identify the difference between the male of rainbow trout, brown trout, brook trout is based upon the color variation. In rainbow trout, lateral iridescence band will be there. In brown trout, belly turns blackish. In brook trout, brighter red color. The spawning season is like for rainbow trout, Jan to May. For brown trout and brook trout is similar October to Jan. Breeding season is also same for brown trout and brook trout, December to Jan. Breeding season of rainbow trout is February to March. Temperature for rainbow trout is 12 to 14 degrees Celsius. Brown and brook is 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. This is more important. Uh, the temperature and oxygen, they can able to tolerate. For snow trout, it is 5 to 25 degrees Celsius. Marshy, 10 to 30 degrees Celsius. Exotic trout, 4 to 20 degrees Celsius. Exotic carp is 7 to 32 degrees Celsius. Oxygen for snow, 5 to 8 ppm. Oxygen for marshy, 5 to 7 ppm. Exotic trout is 6 to 9 ppm. Exotic carp is 3 to 6 ppm. Remember this value. Based upon the thermal tolerance, they have classified into urethermal and stenothermal. Urethermal means a broad range. It can be able to tolerate temperature. Stenothermal means it can be able to tolerate only a narrow range of temperature. Example of urethermal is Cyhothorax richardsoni, Cyprinus scorpio, Barulius benzelius. Stenothermal is Salmo trutafario, Salmonus fontinalis, Dipsis maculatus. Jigs. The color of jigs will be depend upon the climatic conditions present in that area. In sunny days, bright color jigs are used as the skies will be like cloudy or dark. Darker jigs will be preferred. The light color jigs are used in clearer waters. Dark color jigs are used in somewhat murkier or turbidity waters. Sport fish what is? Kashmir is named as Angler's Paradise of India. Angler's Paradise, city of Maharashtra is Powai Lake. Spoon fishing is more popular in river these. Please remember spoon fishing is practiced in river bees. For angling or recreational purposes or recreational fisheries, bag limit is applicable. Hook is having parts such as eye, shank, shaft, bend and bar. Best season of angling is during May to October. History of Sport Fishing In 3rd century, Chanakya, during period of King Ashoka, was the foremost person to set rules and regulation for fishing and conservation purposes. Please remember the book names and the author names. These kind of questions they might ask. King Someshwara has written book name Mansolosa. On it, one section, it's Matsaya Vinod, which gave detailed explanation of fishers, their environment and methods of rearing and catching of fish. H.S. Thomas has written book name Tank Angling in India, which describe about Mighty Machine, the rod in India. This book also has been written by H.S. Thomas, which describe about other ingenious fishers of cold water region. As in short, King Someswara has written book Mansolosa. H.S. Thomas has written the book Tank Angling in India, the Rod in India. Sir H.S. Ramsey has introduced cold water fishers in Kumayon Lakes in 1858. Keen Du also have written the book named 
angling in india or mighty machine which describe the fighting feature of machine mc jana appreciate the fighting quality of machi in circumventing the machi and other sport fishing in india and burma dr s l hora how perform the taxonomy of machi for conservation purpose chacha electric supply limited in lonavala maharashtra have helped a lot big game fishing or sea fishing they have started it after the introduction of motor boat in the year 1898 the word angling it has the origin from greek and english in greek ankos glen which mean barbed hook in english it is anger hook which means angle hook in lakshadweep there are 36 island among it two islands namely agathi and bangaram have been allowed for sport fisheries angling by only poland line gear is only allowed fishing season is during october to may in andaman only the gear hand line is allowed sea sport fishing practices only in south andaman during october to april it has started since 1993 the game fish charter during february to april is practiced 